Right. Does anyone ever try to follow somebody's footsteps and they end up falling into the same hole that they have? Or do you know somebody that ever tried following somebody's footsteps? End up doing something wrong or end up in the same hole that they do? Well, I just read a quote in the it's a quote in the Bible. If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. I read this quote, three uh, topics popped in my head. The first one I'll be talking about would be uh, drinking and smoking. I'm sure your friends or you know people that have friends that smoke and drink. And they're, they're, inf- they're, they're a bad influence to their friends. So they so that what they're doing, they're leading them into um, something that's really bad for them to do, drinking and smoking. And yet they still do it. So they lead them into what they're doing and they end up in, 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 um, in a hole like they do. Um, another topic I'll be speaking about would be uh, sports, uh, trying to go or uh, going to practice. Sometimes you just don't feel like going, and your friends like, don't, don't go, let's, let's go hang out or something, let's go out with some girls or something. And what that person's doing is they're leading into uh, to a hole too. It's not good if you go with your friend. You're losing out on your practice, and you're most likely not going to be able to play on game day or not getting enough playing time. So what that friend's doing is just leading you into uh, to a hole that they're in. And the third topic I'll be talking about would be um, doing your homework. A lot of a lot of students they like to slack off on their homework and <coughs> actually end up going with their friends or something. And what the friends are doing, uh, they're leading them into a, a hole. They don't do their homework. They're they're end up, they're not going to end up knowing what's going to be on the test. They're going <coughs> to going to be lost when they go to class the next class because they didn't do their homework, so they don't know what they're talking about in class or what the teacher is talking about. And uh, basically, what this quote means is, if you're going to follow somebody's footsteps and they're not good, you're going to end up in the same hole as they did. You'll be fine. All right, Alex, I thought that uh, you had a couple of good ideas when you got into the structure of the speech. You need to set it up a little bit more at the start. Your thesis statement, you tell us what the topic is. I, I, I guess the inference is that you're sort of agreeing with the topic, uh, but you want to make that a little bit clearer. Um, I thought your illustrations were okay, but they're a little repetitive, and they lack any detail to make them more interesting. As you're talking right now, you're thinking of all the things you could have said. Uh, it's, it's a very typical sort of thing. Everybody give a better speech in the car on the way home today than they gave in class, because you'll think of all those things. Oh, I could have said that. I could have said that. This would have been a really good thing to talk about, and you know those details will fill themselves in a little bit. Uh, your voice projects okay. Um, it's pretty smooth when you're speaking. Your gestures are limited. At the very start, you look down, and you're kind of looking down, and you're looking off in the corner, and you're not really engaging the audience. Later in the speech, you did a little bit, but I think it's problematic when you do it at the beginning of the speech because the audience will disengage from you pretty early. Um, 
I think you get some anxiety coming out in your feet. Your feet just don't settle down very well. You never, you never seem to, you know, get into a comfortable pose and just go forward where you were. So that's where all the anxiety is coming out. I did think that you had a nice summary of the point that you were trying to make, and it's a little bit clearer there at the end uh, what it is you're trying to say. All right, thank you.